Good morning, Zero here, and today we're talking Streamlabs. This seems fun. So, go ahead and grab yourself some coffee, sit back, relax, and let's get into it, shall we? And in case you didn't know, I have a TikTok. You should go check that out as well as Twitter and other things. So uh, go over to all the things and follow them. It's a lot of fun. Let's get into it, shall we? So this this showed up somewhere. Um, and, you know, if you use Wayback Machine, you can actually go to this thing. <laughs> um, so what is this exactly? What are you looking at? Well, you've got little thing known as Lightstream, right? Lightstream is uh, a software that you can pay for, essentially uh, online, that allows you to set up overlays and things to stream console games and have it sort of sent to the thing, and then it goes to your actual stream, so you can get overlays and all this other stuff on your stream really easily, right? They've simplified the process, making it... Um, a lot easier to use than trying to hook up, say, your console into, say, something like an Elgato, and then trying to run that through the computer, and then run the, um, whatever streaming software you're using, like, um, Streamlabs OBS or OBS, and, um, uh, so on and so forth, right? It's a service that does a thing, and it's good at doing its thing. So... On the left side of this, you're going to see Lightstream's website, right? That's their landing page. Uh, that, that's that's their whole thing. It, it's, it's this thing right here, right? And, uh, yeah. So, that, that seems fair and fine. Well, this over here is Streamlabs Studio, which is something that Streamlabs has recently done. And uh, this is their page. Uh... <laughs> I, I don't know if you noticed, but there are a few similarities between the two here. Um, let's, let's go ahead and just sort of open her up and uh, take a look, shall we? <laughs> but yeah, um, essentially, Streamlabs has decided to uh, ask for somebody's homework, copy it, and change it just a little, right? Or, well, I guess technically they didn't ask for it, they just... Uh, they did it and hoping they're not going to get caught kind of deal right because uh this 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 is what it looks like now okay so you, you've got this here it's uh definitely different than where it started so whoop all right so th this is what it now looks like it's still got stuff and uh this thing of course has been changed and this this is this is important by the way <laughs> and uh you've got all this extra stuff down here that wasn't there beforehand but uh yeah essentially streamlabs got themselves caught so digging into things you find out that streamlabs is not exactly something i would call in the up and up right legally they're doing everything fine um are they scumbags though absolutely because uh as a result of this, I had to do some searching. Uh, other people have done some searching and all this other stuff. We kind of figured out some things that we just didn't realize, right? Or, you know, some people knew and just never really said anything until recently kind of deal. But Steam, Steam Labs, the people at Steam Labs, in my opinion, are... They're dicks. <laughs> this is the easiest way to put it. But, yeah, we come down here. And I think... Uh, the 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 best part here would be these comments right these totally legit comments live streaming is literally one of the or light stream is one of the, literally one of the greatest things i've ever discovered thank you so much for making it so easy streamlab studios is literally one of the greatest things i've ever discovered thank you so much for making it easy you know that sort of thing it's kind of that nail in that coffin it's like no 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 we we, we didn't really copy anything it's just coincidence and then your comments are kind of like um yeah, that's the word. Oh, there's a word for that. Plagiarized? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> something like that. It's 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 bad, right? So other stuff, of course, hit hit the fan and things. And then Streamlabs, of course, last night uh, posted this, and I was like, 
wait, why is this this a thing, right? So we are taking immediately immediate actions to remove the OBS from our name. Streamlabs OBS is built on top of the OBS open source platform. Uh, Streamlabs OBS is also open source and our code is publicly available. We take responsibility for our actions and will support the community. So uh, why is this important, right? Why would this matter? Well, it turns out, okay, so I don't know about you, but for the longest time, I always thought that Streamlabs OBS was part of OBS Studio, right? It was just, you know, a, a different version of it, I guess you can say. Um, it's open right over here because I technically use the dang thing. And uh, I, I have issues with it, right? Like, it's supposed to be doing this stuff, but it doesn't actually seem to really do it for me. I don't know why, but I don't pay for it, so it's whatever. But I always thought they were part of OBS in one way, shape, or form, right? Well, it turns out that uh, Streamlab OBS is nothing to do with OBS Studio. In fact, apparently OBS or Streamlabs OBS attempted to actually um, or did copyright the OBS name at some point in time. But um, apparently OBS chimed in and was like uh, near the launch of uh, Slobs, which is Streamlabs OBS. Uh, Streamlabs reached out to us using uh, the OBS name. We kindly asked them not to. They did it anyways and followed it up with filing a trademark. Uh, we tried to sort this out in pub or private and have been uncooperative at this time. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's where we are Streamlabs is uh, filed a, you know they filed a trademark for OBS's name because they didn't like the fact or they because they uh, essentially Streamlabs is you know built off of OBS OBS is free software meaning anyone can take it and do what they want uh, you know they can make another thing they can slap their name on it I could call it Zeo Labs or something and or zeo obs or w whatever and uh slap my face on everything that you know comes out of it that kind of thing um slap my logo on it and you know have it in the corner or something every time you open up the system and all this other stuff and that would be totally legal right <laughs> and uh <clears throat> When it comes to trademark, we, we've seen in the past that you can trademark practically anything at this point. <laughs> so the legalese on that is um, sort of, it's legal until somebody fights it kind of deal, it, it feels like. So when somebody actually takes the time to fight the thing, then you find out whether or not it's a legal trademark or, or whatnot. But uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. But uh, Streamlabs, have, of course, you know, done that and uh it turns out when you do some digging i can't find this now uh i i don't remember where it was and i forgot to save it last night on my phone so i've like completely lost it but apparently people talking about um if, if all this stuff was so bad over at streamlabs obs you would think that um somebody would have spoken up right uh, considering it's been a few years and junk since it's been out, you, you would think somebody would would say something. And uh, apparently, when you go do some looking, it looks like that Streamlabs does have those kind of people. However, they also wind up losing their jobs shortly afterwards, it would seem, because uh, apparently they fired their entire marketing department back in like 2017, 2018. Was it 18, 19? One of those three years. Something like that. Anyway, it was one of those a few years back. They just fired an entire team for, uh, you know, speaking out on certain things that Streamlabs was doing, apparently. So, uh, yeah, those people do exist. They just happen to have lost their jobs since then, it would seem. But, yeah, I, th I think that's about all we got. Um just hope this thing will upload before I have to leave because uh, I could not just go straight from bed to this and do that again. Anyway, it's an interesting thing. You, if you're going to support anyone and you don't want to support scumbags, take your Streamlabs OBS if you're using it. 
chuck it out a window and go over here to OBS and uh, use their thing. I guess I'm going to try and figure out how to actually use OBS now. I guess I, I don't think I've ever, I, outside of trying doing it the first time for the first several videos. Oh gosh, I'm on my channel and whatnot, I've never actively really used OBS uh, because Streamlabs OBS was that shiny thing that looked like it worked and all this other stuff and I just I never got around to going back I guess but we can make the exception this weekend anyway let me know what you think down in the comments below and I will talk to you later see ya hey thanks for watching don't forget to leave a comment smash that like button and always subscribe for more and of course there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh suits your fancy till then i'll see you later bye